The septic patient in the hospital is the most difficult patient to, to manage you know, overall from a medical standpoint, from a surgical standpoint. The key to managing them is identifying the source. Uh, from a medical standpoint, if it's pneumonia, urosepsis, and so forth, it can be much more difficult to manage those because you, you're reliant on antibiotics and fluid therapy and so forth. But from a surgical standpoint, we can quickly make those patients a lot better by operating on the source, controlling that source, and then you know, getting them back to health in a much quicker manner. Certainly with a patient that's septic that also has an open abdomen, you have a lot of factors involved. Um, you're resuscitating that patient because of their septic state, uh, which causes swelling to the bowel. It makes it more difficult to get fascial closure eventually. And certainly you're utilizing a lot of other medical resources. Thick patients are very complicated. Um, they have not only the open abdomen to manage, but they have systemic effects that come from the um, from the sepsis in her abdomen, renal failure, respiratory failure, liver failure, altered mental status. Um, the goal and the challenge is how do you handle the inflammatory state in the abdomen? Um, and that's where the challenge is because that's going to be the engine that's driving all the other problems that they have. So again, it becomes very complex. Septic patients are probably one of the biggest resource draws for a hospital. Um, not only because of all the new surviving sepsis guidelines and all the, uh, the protocols that have to be placed on these patients, but also because they're usually in the ICU, they're usually requiring a lot of medical support, and if they do need operations, they're back and forth to the operating room, and so it's a big sump on the uh, hospital resources. With some of these septic patients, you're taking it back and forth to the OR four, five, six, seven times just to get control of the sepsis any infection, let alone all the other manifestations that, that, you know, go, that go along with that. So they're, they're very challenging. It's a big burden on the system to have to stay in the ICU, to stay on the ventilator, to stay on medicines to control an infection that you may or may not have identified the source from. So uh, I think it's a real drain on the system, it's a drain on the families, especially when you continue to treat, 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 and they don't seem to be getting better. The, the ideal part about surgical sepsis and when you manage that is that they tend to get better very fast after you, you manage it.